Hi, welcome back guys. Today I'm going to go over my method, my poor girl method of um, applying kinky twists to my hair. I don't have the money for all those fancy and expensive products. Some of those products that I see posted online be like $15, $20. I don't have money to get like a whole series of certain things. So I'm going to show you guys my poor girl method of kinky twist. And let's see if I could turn this mess into something that looks decent. Wish me luck. Okay, so after I wash my hair and all that good stuff like that, grease it. Um, I don't put too much grease on my hair before doing the braids, though, or the twists. But this is the products that I purchased. So I went to the hair store and I grabbed this pack here. And it's only $10.99, at least where I'm at. I got the Sport and Waves. I like this thick grease for $2.99 dollar pack of rubber bands because I do the rubber band method and $5.99 this is the most expensive product I think I have other than the hair just to keep my hair moisturized while I'm doing it and just to add a little extra color in I splurge a little bit plus extra five dollars for that so we have 15 no 11 plus 5 is 16 16 plus 6 22, 23, 24, 25, and $6 worth of product. That is, it's not bad. But for some people, you know, that's even too much. So if you take even, you know, this off, you might be able to just work with just these two items. I like using this because it holds natural hair down, at least for me, because my hair is really thick. All right, so let's see what's going on with this. See if we can make this work. I like to section my hair off before I begin. So I have all my areas covered and I try to do everything evenly. So um, make sure you get the part. Now I don't always care for like the in the middle part, you know, when I design my hair, but we'll see how it works out. I never do it the same way twice. I'm just not that person. So let's check this out and um, let's see what happens. I'm going ahead and section my hair off. So you guys can see all my gray, my gray, my gray visits and it doesn't want to leave. So prepping the hair, I just cut. Almost done. And like I said, I do the rubber band method. So, I, I'm not going to give a tutorial because this is just a video of being cheap and frugal. But um, you could find several tutorials on here that's much better uh, teachers than I am of the rubber band method. But I'm almost finished. It's taken me quite some time. Okay, so I'm done putting Kiki Twists in. Now, I'm going to get my style together so this is what I would like to do I am not a hairstylist who I am was a poor person who can't afford to go to the shop and spend hundreds of dollars or whatever or spend a lot of money on certain products and things like that. I try to be, oh, well, what's that word? I try to be as convenient as possible for myself and for my wallet. Now, I like this style because I can wear it to work. I'm a nine to five girl. And, um, you know, it's just something that goes well with me. Uh, if you are one of those blessed people who can get your hair done by stylists and you can pay all that good money, help yourself and you're blessed and all that, you know, good for you. But until I get to be where you are, 
I will be doing my own hair as best as I possibly can. The cool thing about the hair that I bought, I still have a lot left over. So I could do more another time. Hey, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't be afraid to try to do your own hair. It doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt to try. Have a good one, guys.